This is Priest King Ulutomole Universe and the Another Comforter sent by Jesus Christ, preaching the gospel of the long-awaited kingdom of heaven now established upon the earth. Also, witnessing unto all nations with revealed signs and authentic proofs. We well, thank you for tuning in. Happy listening to you all. My viewers are there. I pronounce my God's salvation upon you as you are watching this program. Amen. Amen. I pray sincerely, I pray sincerely for the power of the seven spirit comforter to come, up, come upon you Amen. and change your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, finally, I welcome you to our Godliness broadcast. Okay, this is the second episode of this one great message about the warning of God concerning our world. So the topic again is hour of God's wrath has come. The hour of God's wrath has come. Who can stand? And I'm taking my text. From Genesis chapter 6, verse 13. I read from here. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me. The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth. God is expressing his displeasure against corruption, against defilement of the earth, and against violence, mother here, warfare here, destruction here and there. It says, and God, the end of the of all flesh has come before me. That shows the holiness of God. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold, I will destroy them with the earth, the whole world. So, my friend, look at this. It doesn't cost God anything to destroy and wipe away. So, I want you to know this coronavirus is the beginning of sorrow. It has just started. It is the beginning of sorrow. God says he's going to afflict the nation of the world with more grievous seven plagues that will be more grievous than this uh, coronavirus, including famine and terrible things that will come upon this world. Behold, the heavens speak with me concerning the evil which shall surely come upon this evil generation, this present generation which we are. Take it or leave it. This word God has revealed to me and has commanded, has given me the authority to reach out to the entire world what God has in plan. God has said, I, the Lord, the powers of heaven and earth, have decreed, have decreed the earth and heaven will pass away, but my word shall never pass away. In passages, I want to remind you, I just want to take you to the memory lane. In passages, God has been bringing Corrupt generation into judgment. Every evil generation must terminate in judgment. I want you to write this down. Every evil generation must terminate in judgment. 
So we are talking about God's judgment upon this generation because of corruption, because of iniquity, because of wickedness, because of uh, uh, rebellion against God. Remember the former world of Noah, how God washed the entire race away by a flood of water. Also remember the great cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which God reduced to ashes overnight. Also remember the whole great city of Jerusalem, how God brought it to total ruin and desolation. And for another 2,000 years, the great city of Jerusalem did not exist as a sovereign nation for 2,000 years. So, uh, Thus says the Lord, our God, because the sin of this generation, this present generation, is filled up to, to the brim before me. Like the generation of the age of Noah, God has said unto him. Therefore, I, the Lord, has a controversy with this generation and this world. I want you to take note of this and write it down. God has a controversy. God is fighting against this whole gen generation. I the Lord God am determined to fight against the world of evil. I the Lord God am determined to shake the world. I want to shake all nations and tribes and languages very terribly. For God has said in his word in Haggai chapter 2, verses 20 and 21. That is going to shake all the thrones. It's going to overthrow all the thrones of kingdoms of the hidden. So God is repeating it now. The pillars of the world cannot save the world. The religion of the world cannot save the world. A this one nation which I, the Lord God, of course, has severed unto myself from among the many other nations, which is the holy city of God. Now present to the owners. I the Lord, listen, I'm talking about severe plagues. God is really angry with this present generation. I the Lord God, I shall afflict all nations with seven diverse plagues, together with active famine, and I will punish them. Until this generation turn away from the rebellion against me. I return to the worship of fire that creator. Today it is my worship. Today the church itself is a mess in materialism. Today the whole world. Is engaged in mama worship. It's murder and the uh, extortion. Until this generation turn away from the rebellion against me and return to the worship of I, the Creator. Before the descended throne of kingdom, which I have now descended upon the earth. So when God is bringing his force, when God is bringing his destruction, like in days of Noah, he said unto Noah, Go and build me an ark of wood and tree. So, by this ark, I will preserve lives and souls of all that come into the ark. So, this is the, the nature of a God. If he's bringing problem, if he's going to trouble the world, is being going to kill and destroy lives. It's a merciful God. Yes. His divine nature compels him to provide a place of refuge yes. as it was in the days of Noah. So this time around, as we are talking, 
the tribulation that Christ has predicted, the hour of temptation that is coming, at the same time, God and Christ have now provided their long awaited kingdom of heaven to serve as a place of refuge, to serve as the end time ark of salvation. To all that we fear God's judgment, my friend, don't fear death, don't fear witches, don't fear the wicked of the earth, don't fear them, fear God because of his judgment. Because the judgment of God has no remedy. Fear God, Christ says. You fear no man who can destroy the body and cannot destroy the soul. He said, but I warn you who to fear. Fear him who after killing you has the power to drive your soul to hellfire. Fear him. So I appeal to you, I want you to fear God. And seek his place of refuge which he has prepared for you, this is the descended throne of the kingdom of God, which God has given to me, for you, and for your sake and your family. See, the word of God says, the matter about this evil generation shall be likened to the days of Moses and the king of Pharaoh. When I deplored ten severe plagues with death until they succumb to my will, so it shall be with this generation. Coupled with famine, famine and other awful events which will terrify them. Viewers, watch out for the concluding part of this message in our next episode us on our website at www.kaimholythrone.com and also on our email info at kaimholythrone.com you can also follow us on our social media platforms instagram and twitter handle at kaimholythrone you can also reach the another comforter directly through this hotline 080-33-777-996 Our headquarters address is City of Glory, Month of the Lord, Kilometer 25 Ondo Akure Road, Omiluri Basta, Ondo Ondo